Good evening, a million thanks for joining our media broadcast of Sunday, 12 December 2021. The headlines Dr. Gloria de Camis read with Honorable Effion Dofia over father in law's demise. Kwabom State is addictive. Comrade in here, memorable. We are committed to Governor Emmanuel's succession plan, Port March Change Initiative. Omicron, Nigeria banned flights from Canada, UK, Saudi Arabia. The name is Joshua Akban. In the news in details, the Honorable Commissioner for Agriculture and Dean College of Commissioners and Special Advisor Dr. Glory Edetis commissioned with Honorable F. Young Dofia, political stakeholder in Kuk Watain over the demise of his father-in-law, Honorable Clement Smart Yang, who passed on recently at the age of 90. The burial ceremony of the elder statesman, which was held at Methody School, Biaso Ikarik Benelluku Government's area, was attended by dignitaries from all works of life. In a remark, the agriculture boss urged the disease of family to draw solace from the many positive legacies that, that the late Honorable Rodolfia has left behind for his family and the entire people of Ikarik Benel, while noting that the, the departed Patraja lived a good God-fearing life and impacted on his people and immediate community. Dr. Reddit also prayed for the peaceful repose of the departed soul at God's bosom. May the soul of the departed rest in perfect peace. Amen. Next, when it covers its position as the hospitality capital and most peaceful state of Nigeria, Kwabom State is addictive to gay tourists and investors alike. The Commissioner for Information and Strategy, Comrade Mbabong, stated these uh, while playing host to the management of uh, the Nigeria Television Authority, NCA Channel 12, who, you, who paid him a CV call in his office. Uh, Comrade Mbabong reiterated that uh, other attractions of the state include salivating, salivating cuisines, uh, which uh, the state is known for nationally, in addition to having an easy and safe air route entry through the air bomb. E -bomb air, I beg your pardon. He therefore, on behalf of the state governor, Mr. Rudem Emanuel, and the good people of Akwaibum, welcome the new general manager of NT at 12 Uyo, Kechi Eheme to Uyo, and by extension, the entire state. The state spokesman encourage the new general manager to strive to work harder in order to leave the station better than how she met it for the interests of the people of Akwaibum state and Nigeria at large. Acknowledging the television. Nigeria Television Authority and the air has the capacity to shape the thoughts of Nigerians through their station in all the states of the Federation. Comrade Niamamabong urged the organization to rethink its programs, taking into consideration local content to attract the locals. Recalling such soap or par like the new masquerade, cock crow at the draw, etc., the state information and health man said with localized programs during breakfast programs. The Nigeria Television Authority will gain more patronage than playing most national programs across the state stations that appear foreign and less attractive to the local viewing public. He urged the new general manager to work hard enough to make the station better than how she met it and pleaded the ministry that readies to collaborate with the management of NTA 12 Uyo to positively change the fortunes of the station. Next. The leadership of Nkwama Change Initiative, a pan acquired social political group, he said it remains committed to the succession plan of Governor Rodemi Manuel. At the media interaction held in New York Saturday, this group said it will utilize its structures across the state to ensure that the peace currently being enjoyed under Governor Emanuel's administration is sustained beyond 2023. International coordinators of Nkwama Change Initiative, Mr. Ekmeno Goru, spoke to on behalf of the group. He announced that the state governor, Mr. Rudem Emanuel, has its patron, noting that, that the initiative will ensure the state's chief executive lands well in 2023. To further burden its structure, Mr. Gold revealed that the group will resume inauguration of local government chapters on Monday, December 3rd, in 2021, with visits to Itsu Ibionibum and Oborokara. Apart from him, Cementing its structures in the state. Gold, who is also the special assistant to the governor on social reorientation and the group, will also use the opportunity to campaign against the various forms of electoral violence while acknowledging the support the group has so far enjoyed in the state. God said, Gold said, I beg your pardon, initiative will groom young leaders who he noted has fresh energy and ideas.
Another world news uh, with the fact from Tuesday, December 14, the federal government uh, will restrict airlines coming from Canada, United Kingdom, and Saudi Arabia into Nigeria. Minister of Aviation Captain Hadi Sirika announced that the decision on Sunday in Lagos and explained that it was to reciprocate the restriction flight from Nigeria into those countries uh, over the new COVID-19 variant, Omicron. Sirika said President Muhammadu Buhari administration will also place the United Kingdom, Canada and Saudi Arabia on a red list over the outbreak and spread of Omicron Baron. The minister noted that it's, if those countries place Nigeria on red list, they lack a moral right to have their headlines fly into Nigeria on commercial operations. He stressed that headlines of the affected countries remain banned and the countries placed on Nigeria's red list. She could apologize to Nigerians uh, intending to travel to those countries, uh, but said Nigeria government's decision was uh, in the interest of the country. And that was the news at four. Before I ran all these first top stories, uh, who made the headlines? <laughs> Dr. Gloria, the commissioner with Honorable Fiona Odofia over father in law's demise, Akwabu says uh, is addictive. Comrade Ini Ememabong, we appreciate. We are committed to government manual succession plan for merchant initiative. Omicron Nigeria bans flight from Canada, UK, Saudi Arabia. For more news, do us to visit our website www.ibonvoice.business.blog and our YouTube channel at Ibon Voice TV. The name again is Joshua Akman. Thanks for joining us at the broadcasts.